Welcome and welcome back. I hope everybody's doing good out there today. Uh, today I'm going to be listening to another Star One. Definitely it's off of the album that came out last year. It's called Lost Children of the Universe. There were um, a couple different versions of it. I guess on the CD there's two versions of it. One with Roy Kahn doing the um, lead vocals and the other Tony Martin doing the lead vocals. But the request I had, and the request was by Manjay. Uh, I'm uh, sorry for mispronouncing your name. It's M-A-N-D-J-E. If you'll let me know how to pronounce your name, um, I'll get it right next time. But the request was specifically for Roy Khan, Tony Martin, Marcelo um, Bovolo, uh, Irene Janssen and Steve Vai. And I found a version of it as actually the first version when you search the song is actually, and the person um, in the description talks about there being the two versions and they went ahead and combined them. So um, Roy will be doing, I guess, a verse and then Tony will do a verse and it'll be go back and forth that way. So that's the version I'm going to watch. I'm excited to hear this because anything Anthony Lucasson puts out, I've enjoyed. I've watched a lot of the Aryan videos. I've watched a lot of the um, uh, Universe concert. And I'm really excited to see this. So here we go. I do know this is based off the movie Interstellar. Um, this is uh, song was written based on Interstellar, the movie. And I have not seen that movie, so the story will be. I know I know a little bit about it. Of course, I've heard I've heard about it. I've heard it's an amazing movie. It's really one I need to watch. But I won't necessarily know the story. But I'm still excited to see this. Storms are blazing over barren lands Stars are fading and the skies Our world is dying Our precious life soon a memory Our race will not survive signs from another world mysterious symbols reappear an unworldly warning a guiding light from the maze of time our race may just so Okay, um, sounds great. Both both singers. I wish it would back up like one or two. Um, both singers sound great. Um, very atmospheric in the background. I know um, Anthony uses a lot of 
in so, several of the songs I've heard of his, uses a lot of um, environmental sounds, winds, and stuff like that. And his use of, I almost said old sounding, but not old, but um, classic sounding um, keyboards. His, I'm assuming he's using a lot of his, what I've heard so far is his, um, wow, the name of the keyboard is just went flying out of my head. But uh, old is a classic synthesizer and tons of stuff. The name of it will come up the second I turn off the camera. But it's it has that that sound. I love. It's a great classic sci-fi ish um, sound. But both singers, I'm they're both great. There is hope. It's not Excuse me while I back that up after seeing how dumb I am. His middle name is, I don't know why I was thinking Anthony Arian Lukinson. It's Arian Anthony Lukinson. I knew that. <laughs> I don't know why I was thinking Anthony was his first name. Arian. Ugh, sorry about that. I just, as soon as I saw it come up on the screen, it slapped me in the face that I had his name in the wrong order. I love this hit right here. Used. Sir Used. Hammond. It's a Hammond guitar. Or keyboard. Such a great guitar player. And bass player. say real quick the uh, the ladies in the back um marcello and irene such great voices both of them have gr amazing voices um I of course have heard them as backup singers or or um arian's angels in um countless songs but i've also heard them solo um i heard marcella sing tides of time on the channel and off the channel, I've heard Irene sing duets with um, her sister, um, Floor, and both of them have amazing solo voices. And then when they do chorus, background um, singing, you can't you can't get better background singers than the ladies Arjun Arjun brings in. It's it's not possible. They're the they're probably the greatest backup singers. I almost I keep saying the word backup singers, and I it's almost almost feels like an insult, although it's not. 
but they are the greatest background singers a person could pull in the world, period. That's cool sounding. Steve. Love Steve Vai. Before we get going for any further, Steve Vai, um, I've been listening to Steve Vai most of my life. I mean, he, you know, he came out in the 80s. And I know there's others that probably came before him, and there's definitely others that's come after him. But Steve Vai was that first, it was the first time I heard, like, I don't know how to describe it, the guitar-centric music where it wasn't about the singer, it was about the guitarist. And the guitarist is basically like that right there. That was, he was, his guitar was a, another voice in the song. Um, and that's what Steve I has always been able to do. I've, I've been a fan of his from as first time I heard him. I, I honestly don't remember the first time I heard him. Like I couldn't pinpoint a year or anything, but I remember as a kid, hearing this guy screaming on these guitars. He was the first guitarist I saw. I was conscious of him, the seven string Ibanez. And now a lot of people play those now and have throughout the years, but his was like, yeah, a guitar can have seven strings. What? <laughs> it just, it, it blew my mind as a kid. And he's just always been so talented. And it's really impressive what he can do with that guitar that 
basically nobody else in the world can do. I know there's other people who can do other things with it. I mean, the the name that always pops out in, my, in your mind as a contemporary of Steve Vai would be Yingbei, who is also a, absolutely spectacular. But the first name I heard was Steve Vai doing this type of stuff. And he's just so good. The And I wanted to talk about the composition of the whole thing. Arjun does things that nobody else on this planet does. He sees music in a way that nobody else does. And it's so incredible that he can, he basically creates movies with, you know, you know obviously he does concept albums where the, you know, the album is telling the story, being a movie, but it's more than just the story. It's the composition that makes each individual song visual. Um, I mean, I'm seeing tons of cool, you know, space and alien worlds visuals on in the video. But even if I was listening to just the CD and I closed my eyes, this is what I'd be seeing is these space and planetary visuals. Arjun does that better than anybody on the planet. He does this. He's such an amazing storyteller with his words and his music. The music tells a story, and it's amazing. It is absolutely spectacular what he does. I'm going to move my picture for a second. Um, I think it was called the Hell Score Choir. I, I saw a mention about these. Yeah, the Hell Score um, Choir. Um, I was looking forward to hearing what this was. That name, it was in the description of the, of the video. And just the name, the Hell Score Choir, piqued my interest greatly. So I was I'm excited to see what, what that was about. So let's go ahead and get back to that.
I'm going to go ahead and let the credits roll because they deserve to be seen. Roy, Tony, Marcella, Irene, and the Hell Score Choir. Hell yeah. Ed, Juiced, um, Arjun, Eric, and Steve definitely deserve their props. This has been an amazing song. Definitely give all these people all the props in the world. Okay, that was um, Star One with Lost Children of the Universe. Great song, good, cool story. I'm not sure where in the around in the album this finds itself in the story and all that. Um, definitely interested in hearing more from this. I I remember last year following along as he was releasing stuff. Tell, you know, I knew that Floor was going to be doing stuff. Irene was going to be doing stuff. And um, so I'm, but I never actually, then suddenly it was out and I hadn't gotten to it. And videos, I was hoping for a bunch of videos to come out from his channel and they didn't. So I was kind of, I kind of lost it, so I'm glad I'm getting into it. Please let me know about more from this album. Um, if you like this video, give it a like, comment. Like I said, any more from Star One you want to get me or anything from um, Aryan. You know, I've said before, basically everything that has floor in it, I've already seen, but there's I'm sure there's tons of stuff I haven't. So I'm interested in that. Some of the older stuff, definitely interested in that. But uh, just comment down below. Subscribe. Um, your subscriptions mean the world to me. I'm coming up on 600 subscribers, and that's just so exciting to me. I can't believe there's that many people that are interested in my opinion and my views of the, the this music. Um, if you wanted to help the channel a little bit more directly i do have a patreon the link is down in the description and um it would mean the world to me and i really appreciate it and i will talk to you guys later